This toggle changes only the last three column header names in my matrix visual. So is this really possible in Power BI to have such flexibility? The answer is yes, it is. In this video, let's find out the solution. All right, I have opened this PBX file. And first of all, let's understand, what are we trying to do in this solution? So I have this matrix visual with usual finance KPIs, like YDD sales, cost and margin percent. I have three versions of forecast. And based on the selected forecast version, it should calculate YED forecast, full year forecast, and still to go, which means full year forecast minus YED sales. Not only the calculations, but the column headers should also change accordingly. Before I start creating my forecast toggle, I have already created these basic measures used in this demo, which are YED sales, YED cost, and margin percentage. Similarly, other forecast measures, like YED forecast, full year forecast, or still to go. Now without a further ado, let's go inside the data view and click on enter data to create a new custom table. You can assign a name to this table. The first column name will be KPI. Here I will list down all the KPIs, which are YDD sales, YDD cost, margin percent, YDD forecast one, full year forecast one, and still to go one. In the second column, we will write forecast one against all these KPIs. This column name I can have as version. As said, I will write forecast one for all these places. Then I will extend this table for version two and three. The most important column here is ID or ordinal column. We will add this order column based on the KPI names in the first column. Finally, this is the table we are going to use in our solution. We still need to create our master measure. Before that, let me add the forecast version as a button slicer on our report page. Next. Apply the sort order for KPI column based on its ID column. At this moment, if I drag the KPI column to the column header of my matrix visual, it will throw an error because we don't have the supporting measure yet. So let us create the master measure. If I just mention this measure is equal to one and drag this to our visual, we no longer see the error and we are now seeing the column header as expected. It changes based on the selected forecast version. Now the last thing is to replace this measure with the actual measures so that we will have a final solution. Since I already have all these basic measures, I can just use them all by validating the ID of the KPIs inside switch function. We have used this multiple times in our other solutions as well. And here we go. We have the working solution now. This way, you can have dynamic column headers for any section of the column header of your matrix visual. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for many such interesting videos on Power BI. Post your feedbacks and suggestions in comment box.